Howdy folks, David from WP Shout here. I just want to quickly go over a cool plugin called Easy Google Fonts. So, as you might guess, hopefully by now you've learned this, you just go into your dashboard at Plugins Add New and you can search for what you want. Easy Google Fonts is what we're looking for. It's by Titanium Themes. If I install and activate this plugin, we can check it out. So as you might guess, uh, Easy Google Fonts is here to help us do Google Font things, and we find it by going to Settings Google Fonts. So to understand what Easy Google Fonts does, you need to see my customizer here, and that I have site identity colors, header menu, menus, widget, homepage, and additional CSS. With the Easy Google Fonts plugin, I'm going to go enable it again, or activate it again, sorry. So once I've activated it and I reload the customizer, I will see that I now have this typography setting. And by default, I can just apply things to H1s, H2s, and Ps. So let's say that I want to make, and I'm going to pick a weird setting just for the sake of it looking different. I'm going to pick seaweed script for my text. You can see that I've now got seaweed script showing on my body text. So if I click into an article, here on the website, I still see seaweed there. Now, if I'm actually browsing the website, because I haven't saved in the customizer, like always with the customizer, it looks the same. But if I go ahead and hit publish here on my customizer, then if I load the article as if I'm a visitor to the website, I will also see the seaweed scroll font. So that's the basic power of the Easy Google Fonts plugin. If you go to settings, Google Fonts, you will find that there are even more powers there. You can create new controls. So P, H1, H2, H3, H4 may not be enough for you. You might want to style this with different fonts. And that's what those, uh, what they call control font controls, that's what those are for. Because under this default typography, if I set up one of these, if I create one, a font control, what it'll let me do is apply a CSS class and then I can in the same thing so let's do this for the sidebar real quick so let's just make it this block so I need to find a unique CSS selector to this block in my case it's actually pretty easy it is an easy opt-in widget or yeah let's use this class easy hyphen opt hyphen in hyphen widget so if I put that in this box as a CSS selector, so I need to put that dot before it. I can then come into the customizer. I don't need to reload real quick. I need to come to the customizer. Typography. Now I can see theme typography, and that's representing those font controls. And then I can pick that font control, which I've misspelled. And I can also make this a different font using Google Fonts. So something like Cedarville Cursive, I can make that part of the box show. But in this case, I apparently didn't pick a CSS selector good enough to actually override the other one. But that's the power that's there, is I can pick CSS selectors and make them also have specific Google Fonts. So that's, again, the easy Google Fonts plugin. And it's free and pretty rad. Check it out if you want to make your site look like this, or probably something easier to read but better looking. Cheers.